Us back. Wiggle and Bramble are gonna be so stoked. Ah, oh, yes, one has returned from a great spiritual sojourn. So it is. One would really like to lie down. Sounds intense. I bet you're overflowing with wisdom now. Go ahead and lay it on me, Shell Dog. Ah, yes, uh, wisdom. Um, the strength you seek cannot be found within toxins, for the truest strength is the will to resist. Oh, I get it. I gotta check my snacks, and if they look toxic, I won't eat them. No, one is not. You... Ah, oh, clearly you need more guidance. Grump, yeah, I do. I'll bring the others, too. Oh, one is sure it will be enlightening. If you go find the biggest... When one asks questions, one may receive answers. One is called Shelda. A one who is me acts as a vessel for the will of Mother Nature. So it is. One maintains balance and purity. <gasps> a calling felt in the soul. Distant voices saying they need you. Free tickets won in a raffle. is a metaphor, uh, but yes. The toxin, the mother abhors them in all their alluring forms. Mother Nature, the mother, she, the purest light from whom all life flows. One cast out they, the scion of toxins. Yet, lessons unlearned, the cravings only grew. So it was one journeyed far to isolate oneself and live by example. So it was, one got very, very lost. She, the huntress, is gone from us. Strayed from the mother's path, chasing the healer's tainted love. Thrice were they warned, so this once you shall be warned. A doom befalls those who consume the toxin. 
a doom of toxin unending. The ground shakes, the sky splits. Look not upon it, move not an inch, or be swallowed by the Queen of Venom. Or so I heard. Everyone is a fraud in a sense. Ever are more questions asked, one must live content with the absence of knowing. A vessel of the unknown. May answers be found in its mystery. Another fine day behind us. My grump, where'd you find this? Good work. Was her writing always this sloppy? It's not doctor bad, but still. Ah, oh. Liz says I'll need to activate these statues by feeding them the snack they represent. Thanks for the help. I'll take it from here. Fine. You catch half. I'll catch the other half, and we'll meet back here. Sound good? Good. <laughs>
You're okay. You are okay, right? No drowsiness, numbness, or missing limbs? Uh, sorry. <laughs> uh, don't mind me. I, I got the rest of the snacks. Okay. Next she says... Oh. She says we need three grumpuses to do the final step. No. This mountain is unstable. The more of us there are stomping around up here, the more likely it is we'll cause a disaster. I can't let anybody else get hurt for my sake. I feel bad enough involving you. Oh, what would Lisbert do? Ask Philbo. Liz trusts Philbo for some reason. I'll wait for you here. Watch your step on the way back down, okay? <laughs> You do? With what? <gasps> really? Oh, buddy, say no more. I am there! <sighs> this is a... This is... This is a big mountain, huh? A lot of... Oh, a lot of steps. Grump, I knew this was a bad idea. Oh, no. I'm fine, really. Oh, hey. You look just like my friend Agabel. Agabel! Oh, it's really you! Oh, you're here, alive, and not dead! Yes, it's me, Philbo. Calm down, you'll hyperventilate. Huh? Oh, okay. Okay, uh, yeah. Um, oh. Are you coming back to Snacksburg? Come on, get up. Let's get this door open before altitude sickness kicks in. Oh, Agabel, it's so good to see you. I can't believe you've been up here all this time. You're so, uh, different. That's right. The soft little Agabel you knew is gone. Yeah, you really came out of your shell, huh? <laughs> hey, um, so why do you want my help? I thought you would have asked Chandlow. Chandler's got Snorpy to worry about. Besides, you've been following Liz around for years. What? I don't follow her around? Uh-huh. Point is, I know you care. And since I need three grumps, you might as well be one of them. Whoa, what is that thing? Liz thought it might be some kind of ancient temple to bug snacks. 
Oh, uh, wait a minute. If this door takes three of us to open, how would Lisbert get inside by herself? What makes you think she's behind it? Because she has to be. I looked everywhere else. Well, it, it definitely looks important. How do we, uh, get in? Right. We need to stand here, here, and here. On three, we push. This is it. Ready? One, two, three! <laughs> <laughs> Grump! I could have killed us all! What did I do wrong? Hey, hey, it's okay, Agabelle. That was kind of scary, but we're fine. We'll just try it again and... No! I'll try it again! You two are going home! Agabelle, I want to find Lisbert just as badly as you do. You don't have to do this alone. Yes, I do! I'm a burden to everybody around me. That's why she's gone! W what do you mean? I was being stupid, and I slipped up on the cliffs while I was trying to show off. The earthquake hit, and, and I was going to fall, but Liz saved me, like she always does. She got swept away, and then the ground opened beneath her, and it, it swallowed her up. I'm so sorry, Agabelle. Don't be. I'm used to it. Please, just go. I can't stand to see anyone else hurt. <laughs> You know, when I was looking for Lisbert, I got really hungry. I, I couldn't catch bug snacks, so I tried eating this purple flower, but then I threw up. And then I went blind for a bit, and then I fell in a hole. And, and, and by the time I dragged myself out of there, I, I was so tired and hungry I could barely move. That's when we met, buddy. Philpo, th that's awful. <laughs> it was. Because, you know... I, I can't make it on my own like you and Lisbert. And it's times like those when I could really use a doctor. <laughs> All right. I get it. I need some time to think. I still want to figure out what I got wrong. When I do, I'll come find you. And then we'll find Liz together. Thank you, Philbo. Stay safe. Doing good? How's it going? Wow, it's getting crowded around here. I can't believe it. We gotta celebrate big time. This party's gonna change everything, buddy. This is awesome! 
but it'll be even more awesome once everybody's on the dance floor! <laughs> snack water! Get your snack water here! Fresh, organic, cruelty f light! What are you kidding? That is business to be done here! Huh? I owe you an apology, brother. My earlier insults were unnecessary. Your inventions are quite valuable in capturing research samples, and I appreciate that about you. Your apology is as lacking as your ethical standards, but it's a start. Excellent. Now that we are reconciled, I have a dozen research papers that could use peer review. As you seem to have free time right now, let us begin. And I take it all back. Be at ease. The party lights double as a wave inhibitor. I have something important to ask Chandler, but such an annoying sibling of mine won't leave me be. You're interrupting personal business. Unless you have something intelligent to say, be gone. Rhythmic gyration has no purpose. I was worried at first, but this party's kind of nice. Even the little ones are having fun. <laughs> We'll make a party animal out of you yet, darling. Now let's work on your dance moves. What a fabulous party. It's no Grumpapalooza, but we make do. My darling, I'm always dancing. I'd love to storm the dance floor, but I prefer to sing along. And tragically, my vocal cords are fried. Never seen everybody getting so rowdy before. I don't know. I remember the last party. As long as Wambus is around, I can't let my guard down. So the Osteoblast says, looks like the two of us are really boned. <laughs> <laughs> really boned? <laughs> Mighty fine shindig we got here. I'm thinking I should apologize to Gramble first. But I can't muster up the words. Maybe I could use some of that there uh, liquid courage. This party's a real hoot. Oh gosh, I don't know. I got two left feet. Wouldn't you rather hear about the captivating history of dance? One who is me has foreseen. The path to enlightenment is not walked with the feet. I understand your wisdom, oh great Shelda. You're saying I should chug this snack water upside down, dog! Yes! All doom is nigh. A rain of venom. <laughs> a wellspring of sorrows. <gasps> An orb cleaved, a snow of paper shards. So this must be before one dances. If I knew we were throwing parties like this, I'd have come back weeks ago. Maybe later, bro. I'm busy soaking up Shelda's wisdom. How's the party treating you, Beth? Mm, I've seen worse. Yeah, it's really coming together. <sighs> Listen, Philbo, I appreciate what you're doing, like getting everybody here. It's way less boring now. But these grumps aren't friends. They're just making nice because it's better than being alone. Sure, but who wants to be alone? <laughs> You're such a squeeb, but like in a good way. Aw, thanks. <laughs> I'm gonna hit the dance floor. Hope I see you there. I give this party seven out of 10, which is pretty good, I guess, for Philbo. Me, dance, I don't think this party could handle it. Besides, this isn't really my song. <laughs> There's a party in my mouth, and I'm invited. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Me, Dan, besides this. Oh, yeah.
Me decides. What are you kidding? That is business to be done in. Uh, uh, look at this. Uh, uh. <laughs> Much obliged, stranger. I better talk to Gramble before I lose my nerve. Oh, I bet Floofty will want to learn all about the Desert Empire's dance of certain death. Woo! What are you kidding? That is business. Uh, uh, look at this. Uh, uh. So you see, the desert dance mirrors the moves for hand-to-hand -hand combat against bug snacks. Thus, the youth were tricked into learning. Fascinating. Hiding purpose and frivolous waste. I will make use of this principle. Oh, you believe it when she says it. Trifony has convinced me of the historic and cultural value of expressive movement. Perhaps I should experiment. Phew! I'm all talked out. Makes me want to shake my tailbone. I want to tell Chandlow how I feel, but he seems busy taking advice from that ridiculous hippie. Heart enraptured is mine. So it is. <gasps> One tears up the dance floor. Boogie boogie. <laughs> My chance has arrived. Don't blow it, Fizzlebean. Hey, now I don't want any trouble, Wambus. Gramble, I'm sorry. I've been rude to you, and even worse to your little ones. You... you're serious? No fooling? I don't tell jokes, Gramble. I am not creative. Oh, apology accepted! Of course, no forgiving is complete without a hug! No. But I suppose a dance couldn't hurt. My darling, I'd love to... service now oh yeah uh-huh <clears throat> Chandlo I, I we've been together for so long and I've always wondered how you feel about me do do you want to be my boyfriend what bro that doesn't make any sense oh I see y yes never mind F forget what I said Snorpy We've been dating for years. Wait, wait, what? But how is that possible? Dude, remember that time we made out on that Ferris wheel and I said we should move in together? Uh, well, well, yes, I, I just thought that we were roommates with benefits. You know I hate ambiguity. Sorry, Snorp Dog. Is that clear enough for you? <laughs> I love you, dog. Now let's dance! Me dance besides this. Ah, right, that's enough work. Now it's time to work the dance floor. I didn't think they ain't bono don't they? Yeah! Oh, OMG, they're playing my song! I'm gonna show them what a real party looks like.
We did it, buddy. We're all together again. Well, almost all of us. Hmm. But you know what? Knowing Agabella's out there gives me hope that Lisbeth is out there, too. I mean, none of this would have been possible without you, buddy. I know you have to go back for your job eventually, but I'd sure miss you if you left. And, well, you still need to interview Lisper, right? So... Our end is nigh! What? End? Well, is, is that a metaphor, or...? Are you okay, buddy? Uh, all right, I, I, I know this looks bad, but as long as we keep calm... Our doom approaches! Pray to your gods, children! It's the queen of bug snacks! She's rising from the depths to devour us all! The Grumpanati aim to silence us for good. Their machinations are coming to fruition! Now, hold on. We're not going to die because of some cult or monster. That's right. We're going to die because the volcano's going off. That's right. Wait, what? Oh, bad timing. Suppose we're going to end up buried like all the others, eh? Come on, bro. We can survive this. As long as we got bug snacks, we'll be fine. My barn collapsed. All of my little ones escaped. Bummer. Whoa, 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 we're homeless and out of bug snacks? Oh, it's a grumpy grump world now. <laughs> uh, dibs on eating Philbo. Please do. I'm quite curious to see the result. Will Befica turn into Philbo or the bug snacks he's eaten? Hold on a moment while I retrieve my notes. Hey, 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 you don't give up yet. We may not have homes or snacks, but we have each other. I know it's pretty scary right now, but we can't fall apart every single time something bad happens. We have to stick together. Well said, Philbo. Egabro! Egabro! You're all right! What a pleasant surprise. Welcome back, Dr. Batanugget. Uh, hey, everybody. Chandlo, Floofty, Mr. Troubleham. Doc? I'm glad you made it. Does that mean you figured it out? That's right, Philbo. I know how to get to Liz. That's amazing! We gotta go right away! Sorry to say it, but is now really the best time? This might be the only chance we get. Liz is in danger, and this disaster is only getting started. The worst is yet to come. So spills forth the toxin unending! Quiet, you! Doctor, you are only subjecting yourself to needless risk. Elizabeth is likely deceased. Dog, this bird is alive. And we're not going to leave her behind. I just need Philbo and, uh, Philbo's buddy. Sorry, Chandlo. Bummer. Well, what are the rest of us supposed to do while y'all were gone? You prepare for the worst. What do we need right now? Well, I'm sick of being in the dark, for one. I want to know what's out there. No worries, Beth. I'll build a couple bonfires, maybe a watchtower. Whatever's out there, we'll see it coming. But what do we do when the queen comes to devour us? Well, I have a few prototype traps that I could put to use. How about the more practical threats? You know, the earthquakes, the volcanoes, and what have you. Simple. We find a way to get off the ground if the need arises. Well, none of that matters if I starve to death. We've got my sauce. <laughs> no way, pal. I ain't gonna chow down on that nasty plant goop. Mm. I stand corrected. No more concerns? Great. Let's get to it then. 